the Battle Pass for Season 2 works much in the same way as the Battle Pass did for Season 1 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, DMZ, and Warzone 2. So essentially, we start off here with one section that is green. Green means that we have the ability to spend our Battle Pass tokens. Now to earn Battle Pass tokens, which we will see over here on the right hand side, I currently have zero because the season just started. So to earn these tokens, what you need to do is go through and complete matches in multiplayer, DMZ, or in Warzone 2. After completing a match, you will earn experience towards your next Battle Pass token. All of the Battle Pass tokens that you earn can then be spent here to work through these different sections and claim the rewards inside. If you own the Battle Pass, you will gain access to all of the rewards. So I would spend four tokens and I would get all of these rewards here. And then I would spend another token to unlock the major reward for this section. And I would unlock the entire section. Now, this here says free on it. And I know for season one that there were people who were confused why those were still costing battle pass tokens. The reason that it says free is because it's free from charge from costing you money but it's not free from time investment. So there are 20 sections total available in the battle pass, and that equals 100 total rewards. So there is one reward in each section for a total of 20 rewards that are marked free, and you can get access to all of the rewards that are marked free, including the shotgun, the sword, and the assault rifle. So the KV broadside shotgun, I don't know how to pronounce this sword or the katana and the ISO or ISO hemlock assault rifle among a ton of other rewards here that you can gain for free one of five rewards in each section or 20 out of 100 total rewards are available for free. Now, if you have the free version, you will still be required to purchase all of the other rewards using a battle pass token. So it works the same way as previous battle passes used to, where you would go from level 1 to 100, and some of the levels that you went to didn't give you a reward, but some of them did. It's the same kind of thing, except this just feels worse because you have to actually spend your tokens on things that you're not gaining access to, which sucks, but uh, you do have to do it. So you'll purchase all four of these, you'll purchase the major reward, and then you'll move on to the next section. Now, if you have the paid version of the Battle Pass, you will have access to all of these rewards. Now, if we look again here, it's green. If I were to purchase all five rewards in B1, B1 would turn gold, which means that that section is completed. And B2 and B3 would then turn green, meaning that I now have access to those sections and I can choose which way that I go. Let's say I went to B2. Then I would have the option, if I used five tokens here and made this section gold as well, I would have the option to go to B4 or B5. Let's say I went to B5, I would have the options of B8 and B9, etc. So you can choose your own path through all of these different sections to get to the rewards that you want to get to. Now more than likely, you're going to start off here at B1, you're going to work your way over to the shotgun, and then you'll go up to B5 here, work your way up to the katana, and then you'll go over here, B3, B7, and B11, and get yourself the ISO Hemlock or the ISO Hemlock Assault Rifle. So obviously these gray sections, you do not have access to unlock these. A section needs to be green before you can spend your Battle Pass tokens in that section, and then make that section gold and unlock other sections. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments about how the Battle Pass system works, please feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. But anyways, guys, I hope this video helped. Have a great day, everybody.